So we took this sample. How are we going to begin describing it? We look closely at the different horizons that we have here. There's organic horizons um, that are above the mineral soil. So the mineral soil would be down here. We don't have any here, but it would be below. And here are the organic horizons sitting okay. on top. So we'd be begin by looking usually at the top horizon. That's the L horizon. Mm -hmm. And the L horizon is this material here. So I'm just pulling some out. Um, and it is, you can see what it is. What is that material? Some, some needle litter. Right. So it's coniferous needles. That is sitting on top. So that's our L layer. Now, this is one type of L. So litter, or L, that's the mm -hmm. L horizon. And we also have another kind here, and this would be deciduous litter. That would be in a forest where we have deciduous trees. Below that, we have an F horizon. So, so we pull away the L at the top, that one or two centimeters. And beneath that, we have kind of material that holds together quite well. I pull it, it's, it's holding together from the roots and the um, fungal hyphae that are holding that. Mm -hmm. And that is called the F horizon. The F stands for fermented, or some people say fibric, and that means that it's somewhat moderately decomposed material. Okay. Then, below that, we have, if we look down here right at the bottom, we have a bit, not much in this particular sample, but of um, dark, black, greasy material here. And um, it stains the finger. When you, when you rub it like that, you get stained. And over here, we have these same, um, the same three horizons, L, F, and H. So the H here is the, the darkest and the most decomposed, and that's the H, or the humic horizon. We have trees here, They've, the litter has fallen, either the needles or the, the leaves, mm -hmm. and, um, and then they start to decompose. And as they decompose, uh, they become, over time, more decomposed, and we get the F horizon. And then over longer periods of time, we get the more stable humic material, or the H horizon below. But the source of all of it is this. It's this litter material that fell from above to form our forest floor. OK. And now, uh, this looks a little bit like the H, but I know it's, it's not the same. That's right. It, it, it isn't the same. We have it sort of on the side here because it's not considered to be part of the forest floor. Okay. It is actually mineral soil. It's a, it's a mineral horizon. So these are all organic horizons, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a mineral horizon. Do you recall the difference between the mineral and the organic horizons? Mineral horizons always have less than 30% organic matter. That's right, that's right. So, so this one is considered mineral with less than 30% organic matter, so, so a low amount, well, that's actually uh, uh, um, less than we have here over in the H. And uh, we can't really tell, I mean, who can tell whether you have 30% organic matter or not? It's, it's a difficult thing to do, but the way you do try to tell in the field is you take the material, and you break it up and you mush it around and you feel whether there's grittiness in there. If there is a fair bit of grittiness in it, if you feel the grittiness, those are mineral particles. And over here, if we take this material and we mush it around, we do not feel any grittiness. Um, so that's likely to be possibly 100% organic matter or at least um, more than 30% organic matter. And so this one here is called an AH. Um, and it's differentiated because it's a mineral horizon with a lot of organic matter in it, but it's an AH. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so dark. There's still a lot of organic. Uh, it's well decomposed, so it's you're that's getting right. that black color. Yeah. Yeah, the black color is really decomposed organic matter, and it makes it really dark. And also, you notice that it's very wet. It's very wet because that organic matter holds on to the water.